Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you a daily tarot reading for today, October the 10th. And I do want to, of course, take this moment to thank all of my new and returning subscribers. Welcome, everybody. And if you haven't yet, please do make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And I more than appreciate all of your likes, shares, and comments. So head on down below and do just that. And more importantly, I meditated on the collective's overall energy for the day. The message that came through was lifting yourself back up. And I feel like it is going to be a creative day. I feel like there's creativity in the air. But I also feel like it's going to be an annoying day for the most part. There will be times in the day where you're just simply annoyed by this or that. But let's continue, or get started rather, by pulling a message or two from the Oracle of the Hidden Worlds deck. What do we have for the beautiful collective to begin this daily read? Thank you, Spirit. We got two there. Oops. Ooh, beautiful. The Hidden Worlds. Changing uh, consciousness, awareness, extrasensory perception. I feel like it's a reflective day to an extent. Realizing certain things about you or a situation. Opening up your awareness, make, noticing certain uh, or realizing certain uh, things about a situation or about other people, which helps you learn something new about yourself. Maybe there's a need for you to change your perspective on a situation to view it a little more positively. Positively, I feel like I said that weird. Bear with me, friends. The healing temple of the lunar light, life cycles, energy healing, communication. It may feel like something is unspoken or you just have these feelings uh, about something that you just don't know how to communicate. It may feel like you're in a sort of karmic cycle or it may just feel like you're in the end, you're at the end point of a cycle of your life, a chapter of your life. And it, you just might be eager to begin that next chapter, but remember divine timing, my friend, divine order, everything happens when it's meant to. I know it's really hard to remember when you want things to, to move along, but it's kind of that moment where you'll realize down the line you'll look back and be like oh I see why it didn't happen then and it happened at this point and I also feel like it's a day to sort of heal or cleanse your energy as well from the previous uh, situations and days let's do some shuffling and pull four tarot cards for the day I do feel like the need to lift yourself back up at certain points today is directly related to the annoyances, the frustrations, if you will. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. I just feel like you either feel like a situation isn't ideal or it's just is making you feel burnt out or stabbed in the back or just like you don't fit in. Interesting. All right, Spirit, what do we have? There we go. What else do we have? Interesting. Oh. Okay. All righty. You told me just to pull the last one. All right, I'm literally not surprised that these cards came out, just to be honest. But let's see. Eight of Swords to begin the four cards. Felt the need to shift the cards on over. <clears throat> so, Eight of Swords to begin the day. You might feel 
like it's a day where you just need to rest or take a step back and it's just gonna feel very difficult to do so. You might have a lot to accomplish or it may feel like there's a lot on your shoulders or maybe you're putting a lot of pressure on your shoulders. This is coming but through as kind of a, a hanged man card where you, like I was saying, you may need to take a step back and view things differently. Try to cleanse your energy and your mental state, your mind in general, allow yourself to see a situation a little bit differently, a bit more positively. But it's like that situation that you're trying to view differently may be leaving you feeling a bit burnt out, a bit frustrated, a bit annoyed to go with the feeling of the day. And then the Princess of Wands, aka, as I call it, the Anxious card. It may be a struggle to start your day on a peaceful note for whatever reason, and it just may trickle into that second quarter of the day. It just might feel like an anxious ha first half of the day in general. It may feel very difficult to communicate. Where were we? It may feel very difficult to get the right words out of your mouth. It's, it's like you have it perfectly set up in your mind or you just feel like you're ready to go and then you just can't spit it out correctly. I mean, I'm struggling to speak just in this reading. It may feel like you're struggling to balance everything with your environment and external voices and stresses and annoyances. To move right along, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. You may feel very disconnected with somebody or, or from a group of people. It may feel like an environment in itself is just not fitting for you. You could partially find some of the annoyances of the day, the frustrations connected to this individual or situation. It may feel like you just can't repair the situation or the connection. And that may frustrate you mentally. You might find yourself drifting away mentally and thinking about that situation. And it's carried through from yesterday. I feel like we were talking about feeling boxed in, if I remember correctly. And I'm hearing, get me out, get me out, get me out. Now we have the five of cups to finish off the four cards. It feels like the end of the day, you'll be very, it'll be very hard for you to focus on the present moment or the future. I feel like you're going to be drifting to the past, focus, focusing on what's gone, struggling to again stay present. Do what you can to let go of past situations or past struggles or past habits, all of which I feel like you can't help but drift back, back and think about today. Just try to let it go. You may find yourself needing to take a step back and reevaluate and think about this lost connection or struggling of a situation. The Princess of Wands being aligned with the Five of Cups, you may find that drifting back and thinking about these past situations and what's gone gives you anxiety, stresses you out. So why do you keep doing it? All right. But as you go through your day, make sure you're doing what you need to do to lift yourself back up because I feel like you do have a lot to accomplish. So on that note, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to my wonderful channel and head on down below and do like this video and leave me a comment. I want to hear all about your situation and I hope you have the most amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.